guys? How are you guys today? Well, I want to explain to you guys today about two different types of computers, laptop computers here, and two different OS of the operating system they have in them. One has Windows XP, and one has Windows 7. But I want to try to, you know, say the reason why I went from Windows XP to Windows 7 because Windows 7 is a, a bit better operating system than Windows XP was. XP um, no longer is going to have any more updates to it. The uh, Microsoft no longer supports Windows XP no more after of the year. But uh, one is a HP laptop, one is a Dell uh, laptop. But I'm trying to uh, talk about, can you put a different type of OS on a older vintage machine or a vintage laptop computer? And I don't think it's going to work because of a couple of reasons, because of the uh, hardware is uh, so out of date because of the new operating system may or may not support the type of computer OS you're trying to put on. Now, this is my uh, brand new laptop. I had it for about a couple of years now. This is the old laptop right here. This is the uh, Dell M70. This is the HP Pavilion G6 uh, computer. But, a very nice computer. But, uh, I want to explain this Windows 7 uh, laptop computer's OS is built around the components and the port are built into uh, this computer. So anyway, with the Windows XP uh, computer here, was the OS was built around the time of this computer when it was made as well. Same with this one. Now, this one's a whole lot heavier uh, than this one. This one's a little lighter. But they do operate the same way. This one has a uh, Core i3 processor, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive. This laptop here has 2 gigs of RAM and a 160 gigabyte uh, hard drive, IDD. And this one has SATA. But the nice computers. Now, is I'm going to be using that computer? No. That computer uh, is just going to be retired uh, completely. And because it's no longer going to be uh, supported anymore. And yeah, how the heck am I going to get updates for it? I can't. If you guys do have Windows XP, do be careful if you're going to be using the XP computers. Try not to go online on XP itself. Uh, if I was you, I'd recommend trying to buy a non computer. It uh, can be supported by uh, Microsoft themselves. Now, let's take let's take out the functions of what each computer does. Uh, each computer has a screen, like you know, every computer has a screen. Uh, both uh, laptops work thus fine. Uh, completely this fine hell. But again, the Windows XP computer is a very slow computer at the same time. But you guys can see both good computers, both great computers. I love both of these computers. But I might try a non OS on this uh, auto laptop. But again, for how old it is, I'm not going to be able to try. No. Let's talk about uh, what this computer uh, doesn't have and what this computer here has. Now, this computer has a webcam and a microphone, okay, and also a half size keyboard, a trackpad, a left and right mouse, uh, speakers on the front on both sides. Um, all sorts of uh, good stuff on this computer. 
Uh, I will show you what this computer also comes with, what's on the side of each of the computer. This is a uh, glossy screen. This is like a uh, anti clear type of screen. Uh, this computer here has VGA, your Ozark fan, uh, 100 bit uh, Ethernet uh, cable, uh, HDMI, USB 2 ports, uh, microphone, headphones, SSD, card reader, status light, power light. Speakers on each side, uh, DV drive, USB, power and connection lock. And also on the back, we also have the hard drive, Wi Fi, and memory in this one area. And we have one battery, and we have the CPU cool light here. Now, let's go ahead and get into the uh, auto computer here. The same thing, it has a half size keyboard. Okay, this computer has a half size keyboard, very nice keyboard. Has a volume up and down button, uh, on and off button. Uh, it has multiple uh, left and right click buttons. It has a very small trackpad, and it has this little finger, uh, little uh, scroll to be. And you guys can see, it does have a very old. Uh, auto technology built into it. Now this one again has a i3. This one has a very old uh, processor in it. But it still runs, still works uh, the same way. Now this has no webcam, no SSD to be able to read uh, my cards. But these are very nice computers. And all these status lights are up here. The status light for the power, charging, and the whole drive is up there on the top. Again, the same uh, functions. You guys can see. Here you have a speaker, speaker latch. On this side, we don't really have a whole lot. This computer is very really heavy. We have a couple slots here. And the I.O. on the back of this. Same thing. Power. Uh, video uh, output. Uh, VGA. Portal. I guess that what that is. Uh, video, two USB 2.0s, a phone jack, a Ethernet jack, a sensor, and two uh, fan uh, a Zoxel. One's your CPU and one's your graphics. Again, USB 2, uh, microphone and headphones, and just a standard uh, DVD plow. Now, again, on this side, on the bottom side, we have the docking station, your Wi-Fi memory, hard drive, and also a battery on this computer as well. Well, these two computers are a very good computer. I love uh, Windows XP, and I also do love Windows 7. But the only downfall with these two uh, computers is, yes, uh, one is built on a very old operating system but in one is uh, built with a high quality operating system when the technology came out. Now I can uh, upgrade this to Windows 8 but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to do that on both of these machines because uh, none of these machines are going to be able to support uh, Windows 8 itself because of the type of uh, unit these are built with the OS and the uh, operating system of the computer. Now, I did originally try uh, Windows Vista on this computer. Oh my god, guys, it was just uh, terrible. It was just sluggish and slow, but the nice computers. The nice to have. Now, what does this computer and this computer both have in common? They all are the same type of computer. Now, this computer has a lot more uh, stuff like this computer does not. This computer here does not have a webcam, doesn't have a SSD card, does not have 
HDMI to be able to play a uh, video. Now this is a auto IED whole drive and a CD drive. But with this one, it's all SATA. SATA CD drive and SATA whole drive. Uh, DDR2, DDR3. Very uh, good computer. But again, that's just the way uh, these laptops seem to work uh, a little bit better with the type of operating system it has on it. Now, I can tell you a couple of things. I, the reason why I got this computer instead of staying with the same old uh, Dell computer is for a lot of things. Because technology changes every single year here, guys. Every technology changes. Now, uh, this computer has a bit better operating system. A lot more functions. A lot more security uh, fixes and bugs for it. Uh, with the uh, Dell M70 computer running Windows XP, I'm not going to be able to get the uh, updates for it or the security patches or the bug fixes on this computer like I can do with this computer. But to try to flop the two operating systems on one or the on, can I put Windows XP on this computer? The answer would be no. Can I put Windows 7 on this computer? The answer would be no. Because of the type of computer was the actual all. Oh, no. You're all a very different way you can do this. You can um, uh, search up, see what can be compatible with each of these type of computers. Now this one's a little bit more chunkier and a little bit more uh, thicker and heavier than my computer as a whole 10 times thinner and 10 times a little bit lighter. Both have lithium ion batteries. This is a 6 cell, this is a 9 cell. But, uh, I can do a whole lot more with this one I couldn't do with this computer. But yes, I do uh, I do don't I don't like to grass the screen on my laptop. I actually like the uh, the non glare screen, but again that's just a protective coating you can actually put on this type of screen as well. But everything uh, seems to be good on each of these computers. Again, we have the on and off switch right here, but notice we have no uh, no volume and function keys on the top of the block. Everything is basic on the F uh, keys themselves. The same with this one is we have the volume mute and off switch on the top. Now, uh, what I kind of dislike about my HP computer is a couple of things. Um, the OD and uh, power light are on the side instead of actually on the top like the uh, HP uh, or the uh, Dell M70 computer. Now, great computers. Uh, this one is one's a little bit faster than this one. This one is slow as heck here, guys. It's because, again, it's just an older older operating system. You can try your best <coughs> to put a non operating system on a older vintage computer. But again it's not going to work because why? Is because the operating systems are designed for each computer at their own different ways. Like Windows 7 was designed when this computer was built. XP was designed for this computer when it was built. Now, I understand you can flip-flop OS's on two different computers, but it, it does your hardware going to support that. You guys uh, see what your uh, hardware can support. Every computer is different. Okay, now, upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 8, I can do that, but this computer, no, because this computer was built with Windows 7. This computer was built with Windows XP. Try to put uh, XP, 
a Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1 on a old old computer and see what happens. It's going to want as slow as heck. I can put Windows XP, Windows uh, 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1 on a new new uh, computer, but it only depends on the hardware of each computer is built. Both still work does fine. Why bother to try to fix it if they're not completely broken? Alright uh, guys, I hope you enjoy this type of tutorial of talking about two different types of OS's here of two different types of computers. If you're, plain, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a duly comment down below. Please like. Uh, please share. Peace out. Bye guys. I will see you in the next vlog of maybe these two computers running beside each other. Alright, little guys.